Hey everyone, I'm here today doing one of my most favorite things and that is comparing a knockoff magnet to the real magnet. Some customers alerted us to the fact that they were seeing ads um, that used my videos <laughs> and my photos um, but linked to a product that wasn't actually magnet. So of course I had to order one, which is what I do whenever I find a knockoff. So I finally received it. Um, what bothers me the most about knockoffs is not actually that they're stealing my intellectual property, which does bother me, but it's that people who aren't familiar with my product are buying this and, and discovering it doesn't work, whereas my product does work. We actually had one woman email us and say that she discovered Bagna after she ordered nine of these. She received them after a couple of weeks and discovered that they don't work. So I'm really upset for her um, that she ordered nine bagnet, fake magnets that don't work. So I'm standing in my garage right now uh, so that I can test these for you and for myself um, so we can see how the fake magnet measures up to the real magnet. So I'm here in my garage. I have the real magnet attached to this bag and I have an eight pound weight that I'm gonna put in here so you can see that the real magnet holds at least eight pounds. It's not sliding, it's not moving, it's holding. I should note that the real magnet is leather. It also comes in a silicone rubber, but this one's leather. This is felt, and you can also see the size difference. Um, the magnets in here are very thin, and it's very small. I've got the imposter magnet attached here. I have the eight pound weight. I'm gonna put it in here. So not only did it not hold, but it also got really dirty, because it's felt. Um, unlike magnet, which is leather or silicone rubber, and you can just uh, wipe it off or wash it, felt you're not gonna be able to clean and it's going to get really dirty, aside from the fact that it doesn't hold any weight. I am curious though how much weight it does hold, so I have a two and a half pound weight. I'm gonna test that. Still the imposter magnet here. The imposter magnet holds somewhere in between two and a half and five pounds. Um, I will say that it costs just as much as a real magnet, uh, so you're getting a much lower value, something that holds much less weight for the same price. And if you remember the last time I did a knockoff test, these were the ones that I tested. They're very similar to this one, but they are leather instead of felt. Hopefully I will never see you again for another magnet knockoff comparison, but I kind of doubt it. So see you next time.